I'm Debbie. I live in the city of Burien. I'm just telling you some of the reasons why I think it would be a bad idea if Burien annexed area-wide White Center. First of all, Burien doesn't have the money to support the area. They are already in a deficit situation with their budget. They are borrowing from their reserve fund and it's very a limited amount of money that they have at their disposal to use to make up the difference on what they're short. This year they're short several hundred thousand, next year they're short several hundred thousand, and all of this is based on the fact that they are not collecting as much as they used to from their property tax collection. Property values have gone down, and instead of having extra revenue from appreciation of property, they're having to deal with less revenue from depreciation of property by about 17% this year, 14% next year. Projections are always uh, difficult to estimate because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. They're hoping it will be a brighter future and things will start appreciating again. But as it is right now, things are going down. Burian's budget is has holes in it and shortfalls, and all their predictions for annexing area Y include uh, none of these new figures. So even though they said they'd break even, now they are definitely going to be in the hole. None of those projections include $10 million that Burian needs right away to pay for roads and surface stormwater management needs of area Y that have been neglected for a long time by King County. So not only are they a couple million dollars in the hole from the lesser amount of tax collection, they're also automatically ten million dollars in the hole from being able to support the area. There are a number of other issues in the area that need uh, Burian's financial assistance that they have vastly underestimated, like human services at hundred thousand dollars, which is presently one point two million that the county puts into that along with other agencies that put in money for human services, refugee services, job services, homeless, um, things like that that are all going to disappear once Burien annexes the area. I just want you to know some of these issues, there's a lot of money that is missing from the projections. Area Y will not be well taken care of. Burien will not be able to afford to provide what Area Y has with the county support right now. Uh, you will not have to be annexed to Seattle. Seattle is not interested in taking on the area for the same reasons that I'm talking about. Financially, Seattle cannot afford to pay for the area. They have said that in a report that they did, and the council has recently affirmed that they are not interested in annexing area Y. Stay independent, stay with the county, it's your best option for being taken care of. Thank you.